Most digital products are ugly. In fact, the reason why they are ugly is because the content is so good. There are lots of different types of digital products and what I'm about to show you will work for selling any of them. And it's my personal recipe from creating something out of nothing so your digital products will fly off the virtual shelves. So let's go through my four part recipe and take an ugly digital product and package that bad boy up to sell. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to start with an end result. So by that, I mean, you're gonna to need to look at others for inspiration. The second thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to start collecting supporting elements. Now, the very last step is you're gonna create this whole entire thing with Canva. So let's get stuck into how you do that. This is the Digital Product Academy, and you can see that I've got quite a lot of creators in there. Now, this is a course that I sell that literally teaches you how to create digital products that actually sell and bring passive income on autopilot. So I have got a course and I've got a whole bunch of different things inside it. So let's have a look at the actual product mockups and see how they're actually structured. Okay, so when I say supporting elements, these are what I mean. I mean like stars, I mean like branded coffee cups, like little elements like this that sort of bring the brand together a little bit better. Now, you can also do something as well, like for example, my Digital Product Academy, I have shown like a range of different things that are inside of the course, but you can also just show the exact same thing in different formats as well, if you've only got like one product, okay? So here is another version of something else that I've got. So this is another sort of part in my course, which is about system.io. And I've made some really cool things just with Canva and a couple of design elements that really bring it to life. So if I deleted these, you can kind of see how boring it really looks. But when I put these back in, this is what I mean by those design elements, by grabbing and creating those and collecting those wherever and whatever they may be, okay? So let's have a look at the other ones. I've got some cute little hearts that are there. And obviously with some things, like some of your products will be really ugly and some of them will be really, really boring. Like I've got some worksheets and the worksheets are, I'll just zoom up on them so you can see. The worksheets are literally functional. So they're there for people to use when they're inside the course. They don't need to be, they need to be laid out really nicely, but they do not need to be, you know, like models don't need to be, you know, modeling them and they don't need to be all pretty and colorful because they are workbooks. You need to be able to fill them in. So how you can make them look better is obviously with mockups. And this is how a story with mockups sells things. Now, if you're already overwhelmed, like by creating any of these mockups or anything like that, don't worry, I've totally got you as well. Inside the Digital Product Academy, I've actually got a whole list of digital product mockups that you can use. So some of them look like this. I've also got like a whole bunch of other products as well that you can use, templates and things like that. So if you want to get into that, there should be a link below in the comment section of the video so you can get heaps of these mock-ups inside of there. Okay, so we're going to create this one here because I feel like it was the most ugliest one that I could create out of. Now, in terms of the size for your mock-ups, I always start with an Instagram size, but of course it's going to depend on what size of mock-up you need depending on where you're putting it. So here you can see here that I needed like a perfect square. So I that's why I've gone with the Instagram size. So you just need to pick whatever is the right size for you. Now, let me show you exactly how ugly <laughs> this digital product is. Here is the actual back end of it in system.io. And then here is what it looks like. It's really like, this is what I mean by creating mockups for digital products and how it helps you sell them. Because once you do them, it makes it so much better. So... All I've done is I'm going to go command shift four on my desktop and I'm literally going to like screenshot parts of it. So I'm going to screenshot parts of that and I'm also going to go through and see if there's any other resources that I can grab. So this is what I built through my course. So I've got different things from here. So this is a free system.io account that people can get. So I can obviously grab any elements from system.io as well. So I might want to screenshot the system.io logo that's there. Or I might want to grab like something from here as well. Like they've got a really good graphic there that I could probably use as well. So I might just screenshot that. Now, 
when you screenshot things you do have backgrounds but I will show you how you can get rid of those so let's go back into Canva and I'm just going to duplicate this because this is my actual one and let's just start from scratch okay so I am going to get rid of that background and let's just say I'm going to go with a color that I would like I'm going to go with like a pink I like having colors you don't have to have any at all if you don't want to and I am going to upload those screenshots into Canva so I'll just upload those by dragging and dropping them in you can see that the upload is going there and I am just going to put them on to the actual board okay so you can see that there's some things going on here if I put things like this just houses is probably going to look pretty ugly like that's not really a very good mock-up so what you want to do is you want to grab anything from your inspiration okay so if you've looked up something on Pinterest don't look up Canva mock-up because you're just going to get a whole bunch of random stuff look at your specific digital product that you're trying to to actually sell okay so say for example like I'm selling a course so something really close to that might be a website mock-ups okay so website template mock-ups something like that because that's actually going to show me an actual digital product and how people are presenting them so you can see all these different methods like this one's pretty cool here so I might actually just take inspiration from that one because I quite like that one so it's got like a little leaf in the background and it's got a big screen and then it's got like a mobile there so let's go to Canva and we'll grab from the elements you just need to go like computer mock-up and try grab a frame I usually try grab frames if you can't grab a frame that's already made you can actually just grab the graphic itself like that and then just grab like a grid frame so I'm pretty sure Canva's got these ones but sometimes like if you don't like the unrealistic look and you want something like that then you can actually just grab the frame which is just the, this one here which is like completely like resizable and that's how you can sort of just change it to like fit inside that shape but it really depends on like you know how detail oriented you want to go and how picky you are with your mock-up okay so let's that's just an example of how you can do one I'll just put it there now when you do things with this you have to make sure you send that to the back so let's put our ugly boring screen in there so you can already see that it looks better okay so uh, on that mock-up that I saw like that was using like just this one tablet kind of screen but I am just going to use this one here for now because I do really like these ones and I'm going to put it to the back and I like this logo up here it looks good and you could probably make like the corners rounded add some shadows just make it look like it's not just stuck there okay and I'm going to background remove this and see if I can get this looking a little bit cleaner now this is this is just a supporting element because it's not what's actually inside the course but it is part of system.io so you can just like pop it there and it just sort of gives it a little bit of you know like it just gives it something so all you really want to do is you want to layer it up with things that are supporting elements things that actually are going to show people what it is okay so I might just put that one there now inside the course I've also got workbooks and all that kind of stuff so I would probably grab like an iPad as well now I find it better to do it this way than with actually using the mock-up version of Canva because you tend to find like really stiff ones this one's just more free okay so I'm just going to go to some of the uploads that I've already got but let's just say one of the things was to have like a photo or something like that so you can also do that as well so that can give the course a little bit more like brand appeal or if you've got like a workbook put it in there and literally you start building a story with your mock-up that's exactly how I've done this with here okay so you can see I've got like a certificate that I got from that I've got on my course I've just put that in there as well so it just gives a little bit of a story so you can see that the certificates there there's more versions of what they see inside the course there's a cool little bag you basically just build up around your mock-up and just make sure that things actually like look like they're laid out properly that is basically how you make mock-ups in Canva it is not that hard it's pretty easy to do you just have to play around with the layout and like the little elements that make it and make sure that it visually communicates exactly what it is and then you will easily be able to sell your digital products with these
If you enjoyed my content today, please don't leave empty handed. Grab a freebie from the comments below or dive into my free training to learn how to create digital products that sell on autopilot and make you passive income. And also don't stop now. If you're serious about making digital products work for you, the next video is where things get really good. So dive in because it's going to help you level up even further.